Well, I'm running late. I'm on pain management. So every morning I have to go, except for Sundays, I have to go, <clears throat> excuse me, and pick up my pain medications. <clears throat> And for the weekend, um, I have ovarian cysts and a long running urinary tract infection. And no one can seem to figure out what's causing all the pain or how to get rid of the infections and the cysts. And I'm so broke, I don't have insurance, so going to the doctor is a couple hundred bucks. Um, so, for years I was in the car business, and I made really good money, and then I took a long break. Yes, I'm smoking. Um, I took a long break, and... In between that break, I got several jobs and in the car business, out of the car business, I wasn't ready to work. And I moved back in with mom after my last bad breakup. It really wasn't a bad breakup, it was a bad friendship after the breakup. Um, and a lot of resentments were held on my part. So, that's not, you know, his fault. I held resentments. I treated him like a piece of shit. So, basically, he wants nothing to do with me or talk to me anymore. And that's fine. It's his life. He obviously can do what he wants. Um, but during that period of time, it was a really hard time for me. I have addiction issues from the past <clears throat> with opiates, the opiate crisis, and um, so I knew when the doctor started giving me all these pain meds, and I was going through this terrible like place in my life where I thought the guy I was going to marry was living with his best friend, I was still staying in his apartment. The doctors are feeding me pain medication and I was using that to get numb. I had been like 90 to 30 days sober um, at one point. So, you know, I just uh, really took advantage of the medications, made myself numb, and then said to myself, I know I need to go get on pain management, which is also known as the methadone clinic. Yay! So, <laughs> I go there, I spend $300, I'm sorry, like over $300 a month on pain medication, which is so stupid, but I'm in pain. I'm still having issues with my urinary tract infections and also with my um, cysts. So I am going to uh, hopefully get rid of that issue very, very soon. I do know I need to get off this pain management because it is way time consuming, way expensive. I'll never save for any traveling. Um, especially right now working, you know, part time. Um, I mean, I would work for this woman for 60 hours straight. So anyway, I just, uh, it's a sore subject because some people are like, ah, methadone is just as bad. When I was addicted to actual heroin, when I was injecting it into my arms back in 2006, um, methadone was the, the only thing that stopped me. Um, and once I was on it for a while, my head started to become clear and I started working again in Connecticut. I decided to turn myself in on a lot of warrants that I had and uh, served some time in jail. And during that period of time, I um, 
learned that this is not the life I want. So I came back down to South Carolina. Well, I came to South Carolina because while I was in jail, mom moved. And uh, so because she moved, I said, you know what? Bump this place. My fiance at the time still lived up there, but he was still actively using. So I was like, you know, I'm never going to get better with you here. So I said, let me get to my mom in South Carolina. And I remained clean, not sober. I drank, um, but I remained clean for a long time. No pain pills, no illegal drugs of any kind, not even pot. Um, I started then dating a guy who smoked pot on the regular. Um, drank a lot on the regular and I didn't know but was smoking meth and um, was really into like you know pills for anxiety like Xanax and things like that and of course my addictive personality so I got used to it too I got into it too and it's been downhill since then. My depression, my everything. Um, I lost my car last year. I lost my, there's a damn road race. I lost my, oh my God. I didn't know this. I have to, I guess, call them. Uh, I gotta call them. 